Okay, so now we are going to see how to differentiate this function y is equal to sine square x square minus cos square x square. Okay, as we know and you should always remember the first factor over here, I'm going to write it down. So the first factor is that whenever you have sine square x or sine square x square, you can always write it as sine x the whole square. Okay, but this cannot be equal to sin x square remember that so this is the property that we are going to use over here now first of all i'll be writing differentiate with respect to x now when i'm differentiating with respect to x dy by dx is equal to d by dx of sin square x square right minus cos square x square the whole thing this is like u minus v it's neither uv nor u by v it is u minus v so i'm going to separate both the trigonometric functions d by dx of i will be taking it as sine x square the whole square minus differentiation of cos x square the whole square now the very first thing what we are going to apply over here is your x to the power of n differentiation of x to the power of n is nx to the power of n minus 1 okay so differentiation of sin x square the whole square is going to be 2 into sin x square to the power of 1 applying the chain rule you have to differentiate sin x square also so it would be differentiation of sin x square that is cos x square into the differentiation of algebraic function that is of x square that's 2x so this is the entire differentiation of our sine x square the whole square now the second one i'll show it to you by steps so that you don't get confused first we will differentiate the power the power function so the power function gets me the answer cos 2 cos x square into i'll be differentiating cos x square and then i'll be differentiating x square that is applying the chain rule okay remember that this entire term is one bracket now here i get 2 into 2 that is 4x sine x square into cos x square negative now let us do the differentiation of these terms we get 2 cos x square into differentiation of cos x square is minus sine x square into differentiation of x square is 2x i hope you understood this particular step very well how we did the chain rule because in chain rule it is very important keep on opening the lock from out to in you can never come in to out right so we get here 4x sine x square into cos x square now this negative negative will make this positive 2 into 2x will give me 4x again here i get cos x square into sin x square now both the terms are similar because 4x sin sin x square into cos x square plus 4x cos x square into sin x square or sin x square into cos x square it's one and the same thing so my answer is 8x sin x square into cos x square now after arriving at this particular step we need to see that can we simplify it further yes i can uh, assume and look at that there is a trigonometric relation which i can apply which states that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta into cos theta okay how do i apply this i'll take 4x outside and inside i'll take it as 2 sine x square into cos x square correct now 2 sin x square into cos x square is same as 2 sin theta cos theta format which I can write it as sin 2 theta. So in this case this will become 4x into sin of 2x square which is my theta. This is my final answer. I hope you have understood this. Keep logging in and stay tuned. Thank you.